Uh, I went pretty good. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to participate today because uh, I nicked myself up a little bit uh, Thursday, but progressed a lot, got to learn the defense, which is big, and got to know these coaches. So uh, I had a really productive spring, I think. You've been in the system for a while in terms of just being at Michigan. Now you're learning a new type of defense. How do you, what are the big changes just for you personally? Um, you know, not huge changes, just, you know, I'm more slotted into the peg. I want to be at five technique, strong side defensive end, you know, and then uh, probably just different coaching style, a little bit more uh, more teaching involved, learning my technique, more technically sound and fundamental, which is just going to help me and, and, you know, be ready for next season. We've heard you've been making a lot of the calls on defense. Is that something that's your responsibility? Absolutely. You know, I've been on the field as much as I have. I think I have the most snaps on of anybody on the team on defense. Uh, so I, I should be responsible for that. I've been in every situation, and uh, it's my responsibility to get the guys lined up and make sure everybody's on the same page. They've uh, moved Mike around a little bit. What's it like seeing him not next to you and with his hand off the ground? Well, this is interesting because, uh, you know, Mike, he's always been one of the most athletic guys on the team as far as speed and stuff uh, and strength and size. So having him move around is, is interesting to see where they're going to put him next. And wherever he goes, I have to fill the vacant spot. So I'm kind of tied with him. Even though I'm not next to him, we're still working together. I'm, I'm opposite of him. Uh, Will Campbell's getting a lot of attention. He's obviously a very big body next to you guys. Yeah. How do you see some of these other guys down the line? Uh, if Will Campbell keeps working like he has been, he's had a really good spring. He's been working hard. If he keeps progressing through the summer and you know doesn't take any time off and works, I think he could be one of the dominant players in the Big Ten. You can't block him at 340 pounds, or whatever he sits at. You know, he's he's dominant if he's if he plays with his fundamentals, and he's got to get better at fundamentals. What's been your impression of the coaching staff, Coach Hope, Coach Madison, so far through these practices? Coach Hope and Coach Madison have just been you know outstanding as far as they come in with a no nonsense attitude, but they're not on your case you know all the time. They, they want to teach you the fundamentals, and they want to you know, want you to know why that works. Why are you doing this, and what makes it what makes it the most efficient way to play blocks and stuff like that. So you know, it really it really is a good motivator, and it's a good tool to use to make sure the guys that understand their technique understand why to do it.